Hey everybody, you're watching the Christiana 321. I am the Christiana. You're a little you're a little tall for me. Let's see. Ooh. You maybe now a little short. I don't know. If you are unaware or you don't know who Resale Rabbit is, he is a YouTube creator here in Wisconsin. Uh also happens to be my boyfriend for the last year and a half. A little bit more than a year and a half. Anyway, um he owns several businesses, one of which is an online auction company. And I think now and then I would go and look and see what he had listed. Uh, mostly I would see it when it was in his warehouse. I'd look around and be like, oh, that's cool. Or wonder what that'll go for. But I never participated until just recently. Uh, he's been doing a couple of estate sale auctions. Uh, and so I decided to bid on some. Now in this video we're going to talk about how it worked, like what I did, how everything lined up, what I bid on that I lost, and then I'll show you what I bid on that I won. So his auctions are hosted through a larger online auction site thing called Highbid. If you already have a Highbid account, great. If you don't, step one is you create an account, um, give them your payment information and everything, then you are ready to go. Um, I will link down below John Friso Rabbit's auction site. It's titletownauctions.com and you can see what's posted now. There's new po or there's new um, auctions every week and then it closes on Tuesday nights and you can see there's a little icon on each of the items like posts that tells you if this is eligible for shipping or not and I believe you would have to pay for shipping if you weren't local but if you're local you just pick it up the next day on Wednesday or you know if you've got extenuating circumstances I'm sure you know you can message them and they might be able to work with you I don't really know how that works because shipping was really easy for me. Um, I just, he, he saw my name. Uh, well, also he knew that I was doing this. So, like, he, he was the sweetest boyfriend and just picked it up for me. Which, I mean, you'll see some of the items were quite large, but also I was working during the whole pickup window just about. So there's no way for me to come and pick it up. And I think some other people had similar circumstances or they would send someone to pick it up for them um that sort of thing so you can see everything that's listed and you can see how many bids have been bidded <laughs> per the per item like where the highest bid is currently um and then you can bid yourself uh the way that it worked I believe you can uh, type in your own bid or you can hit the like plus sign and it'll bump you up to the next um, standard increment. Like uh, for the first, I don't know, for a while it just goes up one dollar at a time but then at um, higher numbers, maybe after 10, I don't know. It is doing it in increments of 250. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can say, "This is my highest bid." Actually, that's the only thing you can do. Is, this is my highest bid. Um, the current bid is two dollars, but if other people bid on it, I'm willing to go up to ten. And so then, uh, even though like you're not constantly watching um, over the week. It will bid for you up to ten dollars and you can go back in and raise your highest bid but um up to that point it'll watch it for you and i was only bidding in the last like couple hours of the auction um because of circumstances that we're not talking about today uh <laughs> so if i had been bidding earlier in the week and i got outbid i guess you receive a notification email saying hey You've been outbid. Do you want to come back and bid higher? Uh, but because of uh, being in the last moments of the auction, they don't send out emails at that point. Anyway, 
um, say you go through and you can watch and the different lots close every 15 seconds and a lot closes when you're in that last little home stretch. You don't have to worry about all of your items closing at the same time. And the other thing is if it's in the last 30 seconds, if it's in the last like little bit of when that auction, that particular lot is supposed to close and somebody like puts in a new bid, um, two minutes get added to the timer. So it's not like somebody can come in at the last second and snake it away from you. It'll add two minutes so you can go back and you can do more. If you're like me though, and you're eating dinner and not paying close attention to the app or when your particular lots are closing, then you might miss it. So if it's important to you, put in your like actual highest bid. So I wasn't really doing that, especially uh, early on in the auction. I didn't understand how it worked. And then I, I asked um, Resale Rabbit, how does this work? And he explained it to me. The other thing to keep in mind is for all the ones that you win, like you don't, there are some auction sites where every time you bid, it costs a penny or something um, or a dollar, I don't know, whatever. You have to pay for every bid, even though you might not win that item. And that's how they make money. It's not like that for this one. This one you only pay if you win it. But if you win it, you also pay a 15% fee that goes to the auction house. Probably some of it goes to the website hosting thing and some of it goes to uh, the Tile 10 auctions, the company that is uh, putting everything on the site. Anyway, let's see anything else that you need to know about the process? Um, the website it's a little iffy um, just because it took me a little while to find some things but if you're getting in on the auction before Tuesday evening you have time to figure it out um, you can add things to a watch list or you can go to where all of your current open bids are um, to like see things if you, but you can add it to your watch list without bidding on it if it's just like a reminder hey I'll check on this I don't know, at the end of the week, and if nobody's bid, then I'll bid, but I don't want to do it yet. Or you're just curious what something's going to go for. Add it to your watch list. Um, but yeah, it's important to keep track of the ones that you care about, because there were a couple that I was pretty excited about, and I would have bid above the winning bid, and um, yeah, A, I didn't take advantage of the, like, telling the, the site what my highest bid would be and B I didn't um didn't pay attention when the, the items were closing. I was having a very delicious dinner though. Anyway so let's get into it but you could also go back and see everything that you bid on in the past. So this is what the like this is the past bid part but you can see I bid on 18 things, I lost 10 of them, I won 8 of them, and if my max bid had been like the actual winning bid, I would have uh, owed $59, but since several of them didn't go up to my max, uh, I only owed $50. But then it ended up being $60 with the 15% added fee that I should have been aware of. The notification popped up and it's on the screen whenever you're bidding, but I was I was in a rush because again, I waited to the last minute. Don't procrastinate. This particular auction was all estate sale stuff from this one particular um, woman, but generally throughout the year, most weeks, it's just people who brought in stuff to be consigned um, different local people will bring in cool things. Uh, and then some of it, I think, is stuff that comes in on pallets. If you watch Resale Rabbit, you know the kinds of crazy stuff that he gets in there sometimes that don't do well in the warehouse sale and probably don't belong on eBay. Those, a lot of times, will end up in the auction. Um, just sometimes it's weird stuff. One thing that I did not win was 
an antique dry sink cupboard. So I was thinking that this could be a good armoire, but it went for $32.50. I was not going to go up to $32.50 for a piece of um, furniture in this kind of thing. Then like, I think my highest bid was maybe $20 which is still way less than what that is worth. Um, I just, you know, I wasn't looking to spend that much money. One that I would have bid up was there's a folding wine rack that nobody had bid on whenever I bid on it. And so I put in the, I think the minimum bid was $2 or something. And uh, it ended up going for $4. And that that is one that I just completely did not realize had closed as soon as it did. Uh, and then there was this beautiful wood nightstand with cabinet. Um, it went for $25. Totally would have gone for $25. I would have maybe even gone a little bit higher for that one because it, it is really pretty and it would go with my stuff so well. Then, oh, this one makes me sad. There was a wooden shelf um, that I probably would have used. Um, for like a bookshelf in a different room of my house because uh, right now my books are kind of all over the place like my shelves are full and you're sitting on a stack of books there's a stack of books over there there's a box of um short books downstairs and then there's some that are just about <laughs> um so yeah I would have used this as a bookshelf but maybe in um like in my living room or my bedroom or something and then oh my gosh there is this really cute desk lamp with a green shade let's see if I can oh I can um and it's like an actual glass shade and everything uh and it went for six dollars ah that, that's another one that I would have gone up I would have gone higher um but if I went higher then maybe somebody else would go higher and I still would have lost it but that one I was sad when I looked and I realized that the the auction had ended and I wasn't ready. And there was a mirror that went for six dollars. It was just a plain rectangle mirror but um the only mirror in my house right now is the one above my bathroom sink and it is not ideal for very much very much stuff. There is a floral area rug um a floral area rug not much to say about it I think I went up to maybe 10 on that one and it sold for 1250 then there was oh, this one broke my heart it was this little duffel bag that it was London Fog if you're familiar with the brand I just think it's so cute but um I have a lot of duffel bags I have a lot of like travel bags and stuff so I didn't need it Otherwise, it would have gone higher, like, if I didn't already have a million also very cute bags. Um, but it went for twelve fifty. I probably would have gone a little bit higher than that. Um, there's a folding card table that went for $7. Um, that one, yeah, I, it's just nice to have <laughs> kind of, like, some extra table space uh, when you need it. And then, oh, there's some shelving units that were in the basement that I bid on, but I really only bid on them because nobody else had, and, like, figured they'd be good in the garage. Um, but then after I bid on them, uh, Resale Rabbit informed me that they're in the basement and they're very heavy, and he did not want to carry them upstairs, but also I didn't actually have use for them, so when I got outbid on that one, I wasn't too worried and that one went for six dollars so they were like the super tall like metal shelving units I don't know how to describe them better and so those are all the ones that I lost now we're gonna talk about the ones that I won and I shot those like seeing the objects so those go now got this metal outdoor trash can for six dollars which is about three dollars more than I think I should have had to pay for it. I got two of these lamps for three dollars. Well, three dollars for the set, so one fifty for one. No idea if it works. I got this vintage 
wooden chest thingy that my lovely assistant's gonna open. Wow. This was my big purchase for $25, which I'm pretty sure I bid against my lovely assistant it for, it should have just been like $22.50 maybe. I forgot this patio table thingy with these uh, chair cushions and the six metal chairs back there. All of that was five doll hairs. Can't see it because it's all folded up there. But the stand and the umbrella were three dollars. That's crazy. That was less than the trash can. But it's a little offset umbrella thingy that can go over my new table and chairs. Got these two curtain rods for curtains. They were two dollars. I don't think anybody else bid on them. This might be one that I bid on because I didn't want nobody to have them. Can you guys hear that? We are at the warehouse, which is like a mile from the stadium. Several. Several miles from the stadium. And we can very much hear the announcer. I don't know if the camera's picking it up though because of wind and stuff. I also got this needle point for $2. It's so cool. It's the old Biloxi lighthouse. Um, I don't know that this will fit in my house because I don't have any lighthouse things. I don't have any lighthouse things except for all of the lighthouse things. Yeah. And then the last little bit that I got for $4 were these two bags of yarn. And supposedly um, there's some like needle, needle ugh, knitting needles. Yeah, you can see. There's some different stuff in there. I got this all for $4. And the idea was, hey, I've got all those crafting like hobby things that I'm trying, so I might use some of this myself, but also what I know about yarn is some of it's very expensive. I don't know what brands or anything are in here, but I also don't know what brands are expensive. So I might try looking some of them up and seeing maybe I can resell them. But for now, this looks like it might be a fun project uh for the fall i don't know what should i try and make i've made scarves before just doing basic knitting and so yeah any ideas lots of colors in there i'm sure i could find something so there you have it that was my first time bidding and winning on some items in a resale rabbit title town auctions auction I, I think it turned out pretty well. Some of them I was very surprised by. Like, why did that trash can go for so much compared to the umbrella? Although, after I turned off the camera, uh, John did tell me that the that umbrella is actually quite large. So, we'll see how it looks. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in bidding on an auction, or something uh, the link will be down below please do just make sure if you are not local to Green Bay or willing to drive to Green Bay you look to make sure that whatever you're bidding on is shippable and let's see what do you think of the stuff that I got did I overpay I feel like some of the stuff uh, no I don't well I don't know I like stuff. I don't think I overpaid for anything, but I definitely lost some stuff that I would have paid more for. I don't know. What do you guys think? Alright, and definitely let me know what craft I should do with all this yarn. Cause, I mean, I, it won't be with all of this yarn, because that's, that's a lot of yarn. That, that's enough for many projects. But I am going to get going. I need to pay attention to this lovely cat who has decided to join me. And I will see you guys soon. Good night, sweet dreams. And, um, yeah. I got I to gotta turn off the camera, okay? 
you can stay there, but I gotta...